All aboard! Woo woo! You know it's a good project when it makes you make noises. So here you have it, the Imperial Armored Train completed. It's got some uh, um, hand done inscriptions here, an AA gun, some flatbeds, uh, some nice weathering on there, makes them very believable, oil stains and whatnot. Here's our two generically uniformed top hatch gunners on the um, personnel car. Tons of weaponry and hatches and openings and uh, bunker slits or whatever. This is a, a double wide. Yes, Gary, if you would pull that out so it can fit four regular Imperial Guard tanks or two of the new Bane blades. So that's really a nice working part there. Again, the oil stains go underneath, and so that adds a, a certain level of realism to it. And then you have your track clear, uh, room for equipment or men in there, demolisher cannon, multi melt ah, and the pièce de résistance, a uh, hand-done Imperial Eagle with... Uh, uh, some really nicely uh, done script on there. And so, for the total shot, it is six feet long. And here we have the painting mastermind uh, who has a doctorate in military history and uh, taught history for uh, 25 years. No, that's not right, is it? But uh, some of it's good. true. It, good. it does sound good. No, I taught. Uh, oh, this for is eight Gary. Years. Eight, years. eight years. Okay, great. And you're. Military uh, Academy and the Command and General Staff College. Awesome. So you you know your stuff. Do you want to add anything? Because we've got all of 40 seconds left on okay. this. Okay. Well, it, it was a great project. A lot of fun. The uh, the uh, inscription on the blade is is what the uh, what was specified. It's death or glory. Uh, the other thing. This wasn't going to fit on the blade, it was too long. And then uh, the other car's description is victory or death, and uh, the name of the regiment on the other car. And then just the uh, the victory stripes on the anti-aircraft gun are yeah, let's a take a significant look at those. of... Where, where does that come from again? German? It comes from, uh, from German Army or Air Force uh, regular... Anytime they, they scored a, a victory against an armored vehicle or an aircraft, then they would paint a victory stripe. So this would signify three victories for that gun.